What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual monitor to use, whether you're streaming with sunshine, whether you're using it as a virtual display for your VR headset, like an Oculus, or any other reason you might need a virtual or headless display that supports up to 8K resolutions and 120 hertz. And I'm working on adding 240 hertz support as well. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis. Thank you so much for being a channel member. If you want to support this channel and get shout outs and videos like this, click on that join button below. So onto the video itself. I had been looking uh, far and wide for a virtual monitor that could be used to uh, stream sunshine. Um, and initially, uh, some of you may remember, I made a video around this piece of software here. Essentially, this is a virtual display, but it only supports a certain number of uh, built-in resolutions. You can add some more, but you can't really, even after adjusting all that, you can't really adjust the refresh rate, I should say. Uh, so I started searching and I found a few different things. I found the Windows Indirect Display, and this is a fake display driver, which is exactly what we're looking for. And then I found an implementation um, by uh, Roshkins, and he has essentially a virtual display driver that supports uh, different resolutions. But again, it still only went up to 60 hertz. So unfortunately, there just wasn't anything that I could find out there that would work for it. So I made my own. I forked these repositories. I learned about um, Windows drivers and indirect displays and all that good stuff. And uh, thankfully, in this case, I only had to modify a bit of text, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and set up a whole release around this, modify the driver itself so it has a custom name and all that good stuff, and it, it looks real professional and everything instead of saying sample driver and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you how to set this up. You'll be able to have a second uh, or third or fourth display in my case, um, you can have five virtual displays at once up to 8K and up to 120 hertz. Uh, so let's see how we go about installing this. You're going to download the driver by clicking here and just downloading the virtual display driver. Now it's downloaded. Now we want to extract this into a very specific location. We're going to place this in the C drive in a folder called IDD sample driver. This is hard coded into the uh, text, so make sure you name it properly. IDD sample driver with the I, S, and D uh, capitalized. And we're just going to go ahead and drag all this into that. Now we're going to right click on install cert and run as administrator. And we just want to go ahead and run anyway. And here we go. We just hit uh, any key to continue. And we're done, kind of. Now we're going to right click on our start menu and go to device manager and go to our display drivers. See how we only have uh, one display driver? We're gonna go ahead and go to Action and go to Add Legacy Hardware. Hit Next. Choose Manual, so we can install it from a list. Choose Display Adapters. And we're gonna choose Have Disk. And again, we're gonna choose that C drive, IDD sample driver location, and press OK. Hit Next, and Install. All right, so now it's installed. And if we go to our display drivers, we can already see that we have a fourth monitor here, even though I only have three monitors set up. Uh, if we go down and take a look at the options, we can go all the way from 640 to 480, all the way up to 8K resolution. Let's just set this to 4K for now, and you can see it properly updates. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to advanced display, and you'll see that we have both 60 and 120 Hertz. So we can simply keep changes, switch that to 120 Hertz, and you're good to go. Uh, that's it for this one. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in this software, or uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. That's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?